Never have I ever been approached to sell feed picks. Two of you. We got clanked Bryson as well. <laughs> there is a running joke about me starting an OnlyFans and it's going to be called Elite Feet. Elite Feet. Uh, I got a whisper from someone actually asking for that. Do uh, me a favor, secure that name right now before somebody in chat steals that. Never have I ever been fired from a job. I'll drink for that one. I think the most interesting story that I have, I was 15. It was my first ever job. I was working in a bagel store. I got fired in the middle of my third day. There was nobody else working there. Like they just, they, they just closed for the day. I was working at a place and I was responsible for doing the training because they sold um, like smart boards and other technology for schools and, and like fancy boardroom systems and stuff like that. So I was the trainer that trained people how to use the technology after it was installed. And they didn't have enough business to carry things through. So they fired me right before Christmas on my birthday. Happy birthday. Not even a month later, they offered me a different job doing installations. The same company. And I didn't have any tools. I didn't have any steel toe boots, any of that stuff, because I'm not really a manual labor kind of guy. Shocker, I know. And I worked there for one day. And then the second day, I just didn't show up. Never have I ever been banned in somebody else's channel. So I have been banned in the stream before. Bryson has also been banned in the same stream. We were kind of just interested in watching sleeping streams. We specifically went around looking for channels that had free channel points where you can play the sound alerts. And we found a channel there was somebody sleeping. If there's any DBZ fans out there, the <sighs> Super Saiyan 3 Goku scream oh over and over Amazing. and over until she finally woke up and she's like, you are all a bunch of miserable pieces of shit. Get out of here. She banned us. If you Points in the Don't make it free. Alerts. Like, like, what are you doing? <laughs> don't make it free. He did a gift that I've received. I don't have a gift, but I have one of the greatest Christmas story presents I've ever fucking heard in my life. So my mother one year was so excited about the gift that she got my dad, like ecstatic. She's like, we have to save it for last. It's going to be fantastic. It's the best gift ever. It's perfect. She's been hyping this gift up for f weeks. So everyone Christmas morning opens all their gifts. We're all excited, great. She hands it to them. And it's like this like flat rectangle. And we're like, oh, is it like maybe like a TV? Like, what is this thing? Is it a tablet? My dad unwraps it. It is the ugliest fucking painting I have ever seen <laughs> in my goddamn <laughs> life. Can I make a request? I'll get a picture of it. I'm going to see them tomorrow. Okay, one, I would love to see the picture of it, but also just some other so some other holiday just also <laughs> gift the same painting get a print made on canvas frame it and give him another one of the same yeah painting. that's what i was thinking like you just keep giving them every year at christmas one more painting never have i ever been on a blind date i did have a guy that told me he pretty much hated his kids that was exciting sorry they were secret kids i didn't know about them when i went on the date he hates his secret kids Got okay he, well they were secret to me he knew he had them talking on an app let's go for coffee it's like i need a ride because my brother has the truck bye I'll pick you up. This is the only time I have ever picked somebody up for a date. Get in my car and we're literally driving five minutes down the road. His first words, I bet you didn't think I was short, right? Like, oh, this is... So I drive us to Tim Hortons, order coffee. He's a gentleman, guys. He paid for my $1.25 coffee. Very nice of him. Um, very nice of him. Proceeds to tell me that he has committed insurance fraud with his brother in the past by driving their old truck into a field and torching it. Blue and then reporting man. it stolen. Okay. Fine. How old are your kids? I want to like, I want to know about your kids. He's like, oh, they're like seven, three, and nine months. Hey, did you know that 92% of you are not subscribed to my channel? Can you please hit the subscribe button? I will give you three seconds. Thank you. I met this girl on a dating app. You know, everything seemed fine. We were talking for a little while and then she's like, well, we should hang out tonight. Okay, great, sure, let's do that. She's like, you'll have to pick me up from my friend's house. Mm, this is like an orange flag. It's not a straight up red flag. I get there, let her know like, hey, I'm outside. I'll, you know, I, do you want me to come in? And she's like, no, no, just wait there in the car. I'll, I'll be there in a minute. It takes like maybe 20 minutes for her to come to the car. I almost left. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I'm, <laughs> we're just getting started. She finally comes out and gets in the car. And I'll preface by saying, still cute, but literally double the size that she was in her photos on the dating app. That didn't really bother me all that much, but it was still kind of a shock. This is fine, we'll, we'll go get some coffee or hang out somewhere or whatever. And then I noticed that she's kind of slurring her words a little bit and kind of smells like booze. She was already drunk. And then as we were driving, 
pulls we... a bottle of wine out of her purse. I hope you were oh, driving. God. Drinking it. No. I'm not fucking Purse done. wine? Purse wine. So then she spills the wine on my floor. Luckily, I have rubber mats, so it was easy to clean, but still. And this is the middle of winter, so some of it froze, so I had to wait to, like, get rid of it. She passes out in the seat. Amazing. Wakes up, wakes up and says, are you my Uber? No. So I said yes. Oh my and God. I told her that my phone died and I couldn't find her house. So she had to direct me. So I drove her home. She put 20 bucks into my cup holder and I had to help her out of the car to get to her door because she was so drunk, which I did as a gentleman that I am. Hey, at least you got paid. Oh man. Oh my God. This is amazing. I will further double down on my statement that you were one of the smartest people I've ever met. However, Clank, you fumbled the bag. What did I do wrong? This woman spilled wine in your seats, thought you were the Uber. You could have charged her $500 for the cleaning fee. Never have ever been involved in a drive through car accident. I haven't been in a drive through car accident, but I did go through a drive through in car formation very drunk with my friends so that we could get McDonald's. <laughs> I've done I've that done before. That. <laughs> I think we've all and been there like at one point. But like, did you guys all pretend like, you know, like, Hold you know, on. like the- Bryson, you took a sip. Have you been in a drive through car accident? Wait. Bryson, you took a sip. Yeah. We saw Venom. It was me and my friends. We saw Venom and there was uh -huh. like a Taco Bell that was open. But we were sitting there. It was a long line. And there was like these teenagers that was behind us. And I'm not paying attention. And all of a sudden hit the back bumper of my car. Then they like drove off. I've always said going to Taco Bell before 3 a.m. is a mistake. And you're only proving that more correct.